Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to my December 2023 book haul. I have a bunch of books for you. Dane reads. I guess we'll start with this one that I ordered online. This is uh, Mrs. Bradshaw's Handbook by Terry Pratchett. Uh, it's uh, her handbook to travelling upon the Ankh-Morpork Pork and Stowe Plains Hygienic Railway. Um, and I believe the Bradshaw's Guide is a real thing in our universe. Um, and this is just Pratchett's kind of fictional take on it. Lots of, you know, just fun stuff. Lost, prop lost property and left luggage. Uh, the Ankh-Morpork Pork Thieves Guild operates uh, the lost property and left luggage offices. And um, yeah, it's just... You know, a fun little additional supplementary book for the Discworld. I've read all of the Discworld novels, I think apart from the very last one, because um, I don't want it to finish. So I'm, I'm reading, you know, all of the supplementary stuff. And I've almost read all of that as well. But yes, so I got that. Uh, and then I went to the charity shops in Marlow. I actually did a fun run, Santa fun run in Marlow. Um, so I did a, it was a 5k fun run for charity dressed up as Santa. And then after doing that, um, cause Shay came along to support me. So then we went around the charity shops and I picked up a few books there. So I got Philip K. Dick, Vallis. Don't know anything about it, just that it's Philip K. Dick. Uh, Edmund White, The Flaneur, a Stroll Through the Paradoxes of Paris. So this is just non-fiction about walking around through Paris. Um, it's quite an interesting little book. It's got some, it's just really a beautiful little ar artifact, if nothing else. Um, but I can probably say this now because by the time that it is seen, um, I'm taking Shay to Paris as her Christmas present because um, she really wants to go. I went, mm, yeah, last year, last summer. Um, but it's a good excuse for me to practice my French. So I thought I'd read that to get into it. And also, I don't know if we talked about this specific book, but when I was at uni, um, we certainly had a couple of lectures on the subject of... Um, being a flaneur um, when I was doing creative writing. And then we have James A. Caster, James A. Caster's classic straight, uh, classic scrapes. He's a comedian. Um, yeah, should be fun. And then I've got Deep Light by Frances Hardinge. And um, again, she's one of the authors I'm slowly but surely trying to read everything by. So yes, that's where we're at. Hello, it is me. Um, I have not filmed for quite a while, so I have a lot of stuff to haul for you, some of which I've read. In fact, I've read two of the four here. So uh, we have Gregor and the Code of Claw by Suzanne Collins, which was the fifth book, fifth and final book in the Underland Chronicles. Um, as you can see, I've tabbed this out to do a full review of it. Well, it's I've done like a series review, I guess, of um, as I went through it. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, and then I read, uh, and then I hauled and read The Magical Mimics in Oz by Jack Snow. Uh, this is the Empty Grave Retrofit Edition with Adam Nikolai, who has contributed a new short story to it from, I don't know, 10 years or so ago. Uh, I've read one of the, um, uh, the their Retrofit Editions before, and it wasn't very good. Um, this one was a lot better, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, sorry, I was leaning in to get the books. I, I'm not a very professional booktuber, as you can see. Uh, then I got in the post Tampa Review issue number 66. Um, basically, uh, I submitted some poetry, I think, or some fiction to these guys. And because uh, it was a paid submission, they've been sending me these throughout the year. So I have that. Uh, and then I have The Tower of Fools by Andrzej Sikowski. Uh, this is the guy who wrote The Witcher. Uh, and this is his trilogy set during the Hussite Wars. I don't know too much about the Hussite Wars. Um, this is also a big old book. Big old 570 page bird bad boy. Um, but yes, that should be should be good. I thought there was a quote on the front, but it wasn't. Oh, it's got a quote from Joe Abercrombie. Bursting with sex, death, magic, and madness. Um, so yes. And it's translated by David French, who translated some of the other Witcher books. Hello, it is uh, Christmas Day. I'm at my mum's house, hence the slightly different shot I guess. I didn't actually get any books for Christmas Christmas on like Christmas Day because my family know better than to buy me books because they just get me Amazon vouchers so I couldn't buy my own books. Um, but I did get in the post just before I left I got The Shaggy Man of Oz by Jack Snow uh, continuing the L. Frank Baum Wizard of Oz series so this will be another one to read on the exercise bike at the gym. This is what number yeah 38th um, I've actually only read, I guess this will be my 34th, because there were four by, oh, I've forgotten his name now, the guy who used to illustrate um, the original Oz books, he did some, um, 
and those have been like the copyright for those or whatever have been renewed by his family which means they're not knocking around which means i can't get hold of them without paying like 90 pounds for a book which i'm not going to do um but these ones are public domain so i can get hold of them uh, then my beautiful girlfriend shay she actually got me two books upstairs she got uh how to tell if your cat is a psychopath um by Professor Tiddles, obviously a pen name um, is presented as being written by a feline professor. Um, but that is upstairs packed to go home, so I'm not going to show it to you, but I'm going to tell you that I got it. Um, and then I got The Cat Who Taught Zen by James Norbury, so thank you Shay for this. Beautiful book, very well illustrated, um, quite light on text, heavy on illustration, which I am fine with. I like the idea of learning Zen, uh, things like self-acceptance knowing uh you know except like having the wisdom to accept what you can't change and working on what you can all very cool stuff uh, obviously this is too big for me to read on the exercise bike as well so i'm going to try to read this before i go home so yes got these all righty folks just got a couple of books to haul for you uh first one this one came in the post this is mostly harmless by douglas adams this is apparently book five in the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy uh trilogy um but I've, i mean i've heard of this book but i didn't know that there was a book five i thought it was a four book series i'm still not convinced because the reviews that i looked at basically said that it's not even worth reading um but we will see i'll get to it it can't be that bad if it's douglas adams and i'm kind of slowly but surely he's one of the authors i want to read everything by and i've only got like two books of his that i haven't read uh, and then we have Elaine McGinty, The Grass Looks Greyer on the Concrete Side, but at least it's not covered in bullshit, which is a great title. Uh, and this is just a little poetry pamphlet that my friend Amanda gave to me. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't look very long, to be honest. It's like 10 pages. So, I will read that very soon. And I guess we will, I'll love you and leave you. Uh, well, actually, no, there is still Saturday's post, but we probably won't get anything else this year. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.